And on January 22nd, we have Ostia, and this plays 1-4 to four players and takes about 80 to 150 minutes to play. And in this game, players are going to be taking on the role of a fleet that's going to be exploring the ocean and trying to build up their ports. This game looks really interesting, and if not for Marvel Zombies, this one probably would have been my pick of the week. And the main mechanisms in this game all do revolve around a Mancala system, and if you're not familiar with that mechanism, it's basically when you just pick up a bunch of pieces from one spot, and then place them one by one across a series of other spaces. And the way that this game does that is in your individual player boards, where players will be choosing one of these areas on their turn to activate, and that's going to allow you to gain resources equal to the number of ships that you have on that space. But then this is where the Mancala system comes into play because you're going to pick up all those boats and then redistribute them by placing one in each of the spaces clockwise. So you'll get your resources before you did that, but then the cool thing is that wherever your last boat lands, whichever space that is, you'll be able to perform the specific action of that space as well. So you're kind of balancing having a lot of boats on a place so that you get a lot of resources, but then you also want the right amount of boats so that you end up on the action that you want to take. And the different resources are things like permits, which help you move across the board, and then wood, wheat, and stone, and gold that allow you to upgrade different aspects of your board and build new ships. Each player will also have ships on the main board that they'll be able to move through the different areas of the board, and then you'll be able to interact with different regions and items and resources that you come across as you sail across the ocean. Making different discoveries there and completing different objectives will allow you to move up the reward track, which will also make all your victory point rewarding resources reward you even more victory. Three points. And the end of the game is going to trigger when one player reaches the top of the track. And the reason I'm so excited about this one is that it just looks like a really elegant design. I really like the way the Mancala system is integrated and the way that it gains your resources, but then it's also tied in with the actions that you can perform. All the components and artwork all look incredible as well. This is really my type of artwork. I really like how clean it looks, and I really like how all the little components are made of wood. And artwork and components won't make me like a game that I think is a bad design and they also won't ruin a game that I think is a good design. But it does make playing a game that I do enjoy just a little bit more enjoyable, so I really do like to see it. The designer also does have a few solid games under his name already, so that just further gives me confidence in this design. So I will definitely be checking this one out, and I'm excited to see more info once the campaign launches.